All right, I'm going to show you how to create a chair in Google SketchUp using some blueprints I made of um, a drawing of a chair. So here is the 3D view, the top view of the chair, the front view of the chair, and the side view. We're going to use Google SketchUp to do this, so I'm going to go into my Applications folder and scroll down until I find Google SketchUp and here we go. I'm going to click on the templates for just a second and we are going to use centimeters if it lets us. Inches, millimeters, inches, meters, inches. Let's go back up. We're going to use millimeters. So we'll just have to multiply everything by 10. Start using Google SketchUp. Here we go. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to look back here and let's look at the top down view. You can see that I've got the seat is 40 centimeters wide by 32. So let's go ahead and we'll start by making that. I'm going to do orbit around using the orbit tool until I'm looking straight down at the ground. And then we are going to create the seat. Uh, so 40 centimeters by 32 centimeters is the same thing as 400 millimeters. As I pull out this direction, you can see uh, under dimensions there it's changing. So I want that to be 400 by 30, sorry, 400 millimeters by 320. I'm going to let go and then I can just go down here and change them. 400 millimeters by 320. I push enter and perfect. I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see that better. So there's my seat. And the next thing I want to do is pull this seat up and make it three dimensional. So we use the push-pull tool for that. Here's the push-pull tool. I'm just going to orbit around again so I sort of see it from this direction. We'll pull it up into three dimensions. And so there's our seat. Okay, so now we're going to make some legs for the chair. I'm going to make these, um, I'm going to make the legs for the chair just to the side. Uh, and I'm going to start off by making one and my leg is a square, which is three centimeters by three centimeters. And so I've just pulled out a square. We'll just change this to 30 millimeters by 30, which is the same as three centimeters by three centimeters and push enter. And if I look back at my drawings, I can see that my leg is 40 centimeters tall. So I orbit around and we'll pull it up into the third dimension and make sure that that is 40 centimeters which is 400 millimeters tall. Okay, there's our first leg. Okay, so we successfully created one leg uh, but we need four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my select tool which is this arrow over here uh, and I'm going to select just the, the leg of the chair. I don't want to also move over here and accidentally select part of the seat. So be careful when you're drawing the rectangle around the leg and just select the leg. So I've selected that. Now I'm going to use the move tool, which is this one up here. The move tool will let me copy if I hold down or if I hit alt once. You see the plus appears beside it. And I'm going to pull it out in this direction, uh, which is the red axis. So you'll see as I pull it out, it pops out and see that red line? I want to move it out and we're going to say, let's move it out 300 millimeters, which is 30 centimeters. Oops. I should have clicked and I didn't. So I'm going to undo and do it again quickly. So select and this and alt. Remember if you make a mistake undo right away. Okay on the red axis uh, I'll let go and we want it to be 300 millimeters apart. There we go perfect. Now I need two more legs so easy. I select, use my move tool and alt again to copy. And this time we're going to pull back 
and uh, in this direction, and that axis is green, I believe. So let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, so we're going to pull it along the green axis here. Okay, so let me move back so we can see what we're doing. Okay, move tool, push alt so that we can copy, and we pull up. Ah, it didn't work, so I push alt. There's the plus, and now I pull this direction. And these ones are not going to be quite as far apart. We'll say 200 millimeters. 200, enter, and perfect. So let's scroll around. We've got two legs and a seat. So let's say I want to move this seat up on top of here. No problem. I orbit around so that all so that I can easily select just this. Go to my selection tool and select just that. Now, if you remember, the um, legs are 40 centimeters off the ground, so we're going to pull the, um, we're going to, sorry, we're going to rather move the seat up the blue axis 40 centimeters. So we get our move tool, we don't need it to copy this time, and we're going to pull up. Uh, you can see as I'm pulling it's going along the green axis, I, that's not the way I want to go, so I'm just going to move it around till it starts going on the blue axis instead and you can see it's almost 40 centimeters 400 millimeters up and what I want to do is just click down here and say 400 millimeters enter and now it's the perfect height now we just need to move the seat from here over this way and we always just move one axis at a time to avoid complications so now we want to move it this way Let's just orbit around again so that we can see how we're positioning it. And move tool. We're going to move it this way. And you can just eyeball. You see we're moving it only on the red axis and you can eyeball it. If I were to move it, let's say, not on one of the axis axes, it might look like it's in the right spot. For example, well, it's popping in. Watch what happens. So if I put it here and then orbit around, you'll see it just is not quite in the right spot, which is why we always move it along one axis at a time. So move tool and along the red until it looks like it's right in the right spot. And let's check. So we zoom around. Perfect. And there we go. So now we've made a little stool. We just need the back for our chair which is this along with the two posts that hold it up. Okay, so we're ready to do the back part of the seat, which is going to go here. Uh, if we just look at this drawing, you can see it's um, two centimeters wide. And, oops. Uh, it's supported by two posts. So let's do it. Uh, again, we're going to draw the um, seat beside the stool on the ground, so we'll need our rectangle tool. Uh, let's look at our measurements here. It's The back of the seat is 38 centimeters long, 25 tall, and 2 centimeters thick. So here we go. We go uh, this way, and it is 38 centimeters, so we'll just Get as close as we can, and too thick. We just go ahead and change it down here, so it's going to be 38, which is 380 millimeters. It's going to be 2 centimeters wide, which is 20 millimeters. There we go. We've got our back. And it's just a two-dimensional shape right now, so let's zoom in so we can see it a bit better. We need to pull it up into the third dimension, and if we look again at the measurements, it's 25 centimeters tall, which is 250 millimeters, so we pull it up, and how far? 250, which is pretty close. There we go. So we've got our back. We just need two posts that can come at the bottom. Now the posts are seven centimeters tall, so let's move this up seven centimeters. I'm going to use my select tool and move it up on the blue axis. Seven centimeters is 70 millimeters. Seven, zero. 
And now we just need to make the posts that come out the bottom. So I'm going to look down at the very bottom of this. And I'll just use the hand tool so I'm looking at the bottom of this and we'll make our posts that come at the bottom. So click, click, and click. Do another one over here. Click, click, and click. These will be our two posts. And you, you can see that the chair is still semi-selected. I'm just going to click over here. Click so that goes away. We're going to rotate and pull this face out. There's seven centimeters, which is 70 millimeters. 70 millimeters. Same with this one. 70 millimeters. And now we're ready, if we zoom out and rotate, to put the back on the top of the chair. So again, we need to select just the back of the chair, move it up the blue axis, and it should uh, be about 40-ish millimeters off the ground, oh, sorry, 400-ish millimeters off the ground. Let's move it this way on the red axis. And what I often do is just move around the object a lot so we can see, are we putting it in the right spot? We need to bring it this way on the green axis, so let's do that next. Pull it this way on the green axis. So it needs to come up a bit more. So you can see uh, right now the bars are poking at the bottom, so we'll move it up just a touch. Sorry, I'm going to select it again. Move it this way on the green and then up the blue. Oh, you can see it's coming toward me on the wrong axis here, so I'm going to say undo. I'm going to rotate and try again. If it starts not moving again, it's not moving the right axis, so I undo. Remember, undo is your best friend. Move, 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 zoom out. Let's try again. We want it to go up. The blue axis and it's just not cooperating is it undo zoom oops undo rotate and move up the blue huh. anyway you got the idea it is more or less perfect this needs to come this way just a bit and it's a pretty good chair. It doesn't look so comfortable, but I'm sure that lady there would happily sit on it. You'll notice it's, if I select the lady and bring her over, she is about the right size for sitting on that chair, which makes sense because I designed the chair based on a chair that we have in the computer lab or in real life.